Kundalini awakening through Kundalini Yoga was nothing else but dissolving Kakras alone, I learned. As my body jumped into a new postural state, temporarily dissolving all the seven of them through the length and breadth of it on December 12, 2004, I immediately sensed a surge of energy rising up through my torso toward my head. And the next moment, as my body jumped out of its new postural state, the surge stopped moving upward too. Later when I read all about Kakras, Kundalini Yoga and Kundalini Awakening, I immediately was able to link up the relation between all the three of them. There was no strenuous yoga to be done, there was no awakening needed. It was already awake. It was logical also. How could energy be dormant? It never is. It could only be blocked on the path of its movement. And that is what it was. It was only that the rigid five kakras were not letting the energy move from where it entered into the body up toward the head on its path of rotation through the body leaving it on the crown of its head and re-entering the base of the spine, thus completing its rotational circuit. This circuit was being broken through getting blocked by the muscular rigidities along the path of energy through the body. As my body jumped into the new state that day, it had gone stretched, in an incomprehensible way to me, at various different points along its length as well as its breadth. It had kind of opened up and out of those particular points, so much of it as had never happened to me ever before. In my next post, I will tell you what those points were and what kind of stretches they were feeling like being pulled up by.